I need it as an adaptation to live. I'm gonna survive. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we have Jungo Tov. Jungo To Vegan is his channel's name. He's gonna talk about if everybody should go vegan or not. Let's have a look. So one of my Instagram followers sent me this post and asked me if I would respond to it. So here it is. Not everyone can go vegan. Well, this is simply true. But then it says some okay. don't have the privilege to do so and so on. We've heard this so many times and although it is true in some contexts, this is also problematic. And yes, this is something I absolutely need to respond to. Absolutely. About people who actually cannot eat fully vegan. So if you're struggling on a plant-based diet, stay till the end. All right, let's get right in so first of all <laughs> so if you're struggling on a plant-based diet <laughs> please stay till the end this is what will get you views because every vegan struggles on their diet we cannot discuss this without getting the point of veganism which a lot of people seem to be missing in this context i read some of the comments and someone said i also dislike how vegans ignore there are many indigenous tribes who have eaten meat for thousands of years and respected nature as part of their culture and tradition so first let's get this out of the way now no vegans are mandating everyone on earth to go vegan while some might be, but those vegans are also missing the point. But 99 point Some might be. Please continue. 9% of vegans do not say everyone has to go vegan. I have what 99% of vegans say not everybody has to go vegan. Which vegans do you know? I've never ever heard a vegan say that. The point of never ever. <laughs> Never have I ever. Veganism I isn't you. to not kill any animals whatsoever, but to cause the least amount of pain, ah. suffering, and deaths possible. To Moving the goalposts. Now all of a sudden it's not about not killing any animals whatsoever, right? After we disclosed the reality of plant production here on this channel, after we talked so many times about veganism and how it kills not only animals but the whole environment, that it kills more animals than a simple carnivore diet, Yes, it is true. Now all of a sudden it is not about not killing all animals. It is about causing the least amount of suffering. Let's think about this logically. When I'm eating vegan, I am suffering truly not only due to taste pleasure, but due to performance, due to mental health, due to digestion, etc, etc, etc. When I eat vegan, I suffer. So if I don't eat vegan, if I don't eat plant-based, I am causing the least amount of suffering for me. Am I vegan now? Hmm. Least amount of pain, suffering, and deaths possible to live a life of compassion, free of discrimination and oppression. Yes, in another video. <laughs> discrimination and oppression. <laughs> This is hilarious. Concepts that every animal can grasp. Please don't discriminate against goldfish. Absolutely ridiculous. In order to discriminate, you have to be part of society to begin with. How can you discriminate against animals that are not part of this human society? It is ridiculous. It is a mental illness. I talked about the difference between someone who is vegan and someone who is plant-based. Veganism is an ethical philosophy against animal abuse and oppression of sentient beings, which is something most of us already have within ourselves. So once you make the connection that it's got uh, nothing to do with our diet. It is not about converting to veganism. It is about reverting to our natural state. We have it in us. We are born vegan. <laughs> things should become clear. So it all comes down to necessity. We all mm. know that there are people who need to hunt and eat meat and fish to survive and sustain their lives. Some. We call those people sustenance hunters or we call those people savages. Fishers. They hunt out of necessity just like lions do. Therefore, it is justified. But when we living in a developed country eat meat, say a burger or a bacon sandwich or get a latte or frappuccino at Starbucks, we don't nice. do so for our survival. It is purely to satisfy our taste. 
taste buds. In other words, our sensory pleasure. If sensory pleasure. Okay, so let's rewind there one more time. Let's say a burger or a bacon sandwich or get a latte or frappuccino at see how removed those people are from reality they're talking about hamburgers bacon sandwich a latte yes you don't need those things no matter if they are vegan or not you don't need those things to begin with this is not healthy food this is not a necessity everybody would agree what we are talking about is a human specific diet aka animal-based eating we need animal foods in order to be healthy in order to function as normal human beings look around civilization has been built on meat this is what we need very very simple so therefore it is a necessity you give childish examples of junk food because you have no idea what true nutrition is this is why you're vegan. Starbucks, we don't do so for our survival. It is purely to satisfy our taste buds. In other words, our sensory pleasure. If survival pleasure. really was the reason we eat meat, then I could justify killing a dog on the street and eating them and drinking their milk and say I need to do it be You could. Because protein and calcium and iron, that is crazy. And you know that is unethical <laughs> and inhumane because of one reason. It is unnecessary. So if you're- Unnecessary. No, it is not. As I just explained, animal foods in their natural state are absolutely essential for human life. I just became a father a couple of months back. My son lives exclusively on raw milk. His mother's boobies do not produce almond and soy milk. This is not how it works. The human body is perfectly suited for animal food consumption. It is indeed a necessity. Not like the bird food that you stacked up there in the background. What is that anyways? One of those who say this, basically what you're saying is, yes, yes, I know eating meat needlessly is unethical, but because the indigenous <laughs> people need to eat meat to survive. Uh, yes, yes, I know. <laughs> Just speak after me. This is your opinion. This is what you're saying. Don't you see it? Yes, yes, I know eating meat needlessly is unethical. Scratch that. <laughs> no, no. Eating meat is ethical and absolutely necessary because it is healthy and our species specific diet we living in a developed country should also eat meat it doesn't make any sense where is your logic <laughs> we're not sustenance hunters exactly where is it hunters. and if you use that reasoning then by your own logic you cannot eat any meat sold at a supermarket oh. or order meat-based dishes at restaurants them hunting a certain number of animals they need for a period of time out of necessity doesn't justify us mass producing and mass murdering animals all for our sensory pleasure and profit there's nothing natural about this especially factor yeah exactly absolute vegan logic we as a society have a bunch of people right we are in the billions therefore we need a lot of food to feed those people therefore we came up with factory farming is it the best method out there certainly not but we need to feed people first and foremost we should be team people this is how it works therefore we need a bunch of food now if you would look at the scale of plant production the way it is right now and what it would need in order to feed the whole planet with plants you would create havoc on this earth you would kill more animals as i said in the beginning and on top of that you would destroy the environment totally with mono cultures this is the reality of veganism it is not feasible it is not sustainable and i know that you're going to say but most plants are fed to animals that is a lie that is a scam this is something that you heard online the reality of things is those plants that are fed to the animals are not suited for human consumption it is a waste product that we otherwise would throw away Hence a waste product. This is what we feed 
those animals. Those animals with their miraculous bodies can transform that waste product into perfectly digestible animal foods, proteins and fats. It is amazing, it is beautiful, it is God-given. Accept it. Farming, and this isn't what humanity has done for thousands of years anyways. A question I like to ask is, has humanity always, always done the right things for thousands of years? Society changes and we have to adapt. The cultural or historical excuses not only don't apply today in the West, but also don't work as a guideline for our morality. Now for our morality, exactly. Now we have to adapt. We evolved and everything went wrong. Just look around. Right now we have the Kurats virus circulating and we evolved with flaws. Now I need this here as an adaptation. I need it as an adaptation to live. Somehow evolution didn't take that factor into account. But thank God for humans. Ah, I'm going to survive. It is absolutely ridiculous. What are you talking about? Right. And now we need more what? More factories? more monocultures to produce soy schnitzel in order to live of huge corporations so we cannot feed ourselves any longer because we are so removed you come from a stance living in a city isolated in your flat shopping in the supermarket relying on companies anyways so therefore you don't see a difference you're totally removed from the food chain it does make a difference to you if you go to mcdonald's and buy a regular burger or a soy burger because you have no idea what true nutrition looks like. You have no idea what it means to live off the land. You have absolutely zero contact to the natural world. You simply sit in front of your camera and talk about things that you have no idea about. This is amazing, young man. When we talk about morality or ethics, we have to apply the same logic to other similar situations to see if the excuse really works. I know fast the fashion- The excuse. <laughs> Let's just make sure we call it an excuse. It's not a statement. It's not an argument. It's an excuse. <laughs> it's not ethical or sustainable. So I shouldn't buy from fast fashion brands, but I know some people cannot afford anything else, anything more expensive at a given time. So that allows me to ethically buy clothes from fast fashion brands every weekend. I'm not morally allowed to kill anyone, a human, but some people somewhere are having to justifiably kill others in the form of self-defense. Therefore, I can morally justify killing someone when I don't have to. It doesn't yeah, it doesn't work because you're building a straw man. You say that the premise is the reality, the fundament of your argument that it is not necessary because you can go to the supermarket and buy something else. That something else that you buy is not nourishing you. That something else that you buy supports other evil deeds. But we're not going to talk about that. This other thing that you buy is not even meant for human consumption. But you're going to justify it by saying that real food is not necessary for the human body. You see how crazy this is. You don't work like this. It's a moral violation. Just because not <laughs> everyone can go yeah. vegan doesn't mean we shouldn't try our best to reduce cruelty, violence and suffering, even if or when we can. So this is the foundation of the concept of veganism, which is all about necessity. Now we can move forward. So this person comments, what vegans do makes <laughs> How can we move forward now? <laughs> me feel bad because I can't possibly go vegan. I don't know about this specific person, but I've heard this so many times. We just make it sound like we have never eaten or even seen vegan foods. Many of us eat oatmeal in the West. If you say oatmeal cooked with oat milk for breakfast, that's vegan. A black bean burrito for lunch, that's vegan. Get an oat milk latte instead of regular latte. And pasta with marinara sauce, that's delicious vegan dinner. Now you have eaten a fully plant-based diet for a day Don't now you have eaten a day without any protein do you realize this you don't you've been just eating carbs just oatmeal with nothing else on the side is just carbs just pasta is just carbs just bean burritos is just carbs do you understand this? You do not. You have no idea what nutrition means. You have no idea what true health is. You're still young and now you can get away with it. Just wait until your body runs into deficiencies. This is not normal food. If you eat pasta, you don't just add the meat for taste pleasure. You add the meat so you have building blocks 
Without it, you cannot live. It is that simple. Do you see pasta growing on trees? Do you see bean burritos in nature? Man, wake up. Don't tell me you can't do this in America or anywhere in Europe. These are everywhere. And these are some of the cheapest things you can get at any store. You don't need- Wow, great argument. Don't tell me that you cannot smoke 30 grams of wheat every single day if you live in California. Wheat is legal in California, okay? So I think it should be the right thing to do to smoke 30 grams of wheat every single day. Why don't you? Don't give me an excuse why you don't want to smoke wheat. Do you understand what you're saying there? You tell people to malnourish themselves. Don't tell me you can't do it. Of course, practically, you can do that. You can go to the supermarket and buy those things. But those things are not food. Eat Whole Foods or Trader Joe's right next to your house to eat those foods if you have the will to eliminate animal abuse from your lifestyle. The truth is, the people who say this do not and aren't willing to make the change. That's the difference. Or just Thank haven't God. made the connection yet. I was one of them. So this is where the societal <laughs> problem is. People say they can't go vegan. However, if you're against animal abuse, it should come natural for you to not consume any animal products when you don't have to. But people just say it and then eat animals when they don't have to anyways. I know that they eat birthday cakes full of whipped cream and turkey at every Thanksgiving. So now you should see that people are using an excuse that doesn't morally justify their behaviors. The truth is, most people can go vegan. They don't want to sacrifice the sensory pleasure they get from eating animals and their secretions, their habit and tradition. So they think eating vegan is a restriction mm. when it's in fact not, considering there's a vegan version of everything these days. Uh, yeah, of everything these days. Check it out. I'm going to try to link it if I don't forget about it. When I did the food vegan test, is a the taste test, one second. Not. And I had the Beyond Burger. In comparison, I had a Black Angus Burger. See my reaction and more importantly, see the reaction of the cat that I tried to feed the Beyond Burger to. She didn't touch it. Spoiler alert. This is not meant for anyone. This is not food. Look at the ingredient list. It is absolutely ridiculous these days so although the sentence not everyone can go vegan is true in those two main or common contexts it is very concerning and problematic that posts like this get spread on social media because what this does is it gives people who actually can go vegan an invalid excuse for not doing so but in you didn't establish how it is not necessary to eat animal foods. The only argument that you give is because you can walk into a supermarket and buy those things. I can go into the supermarket and buy a bucket of paint. Should I eat this now on a daily basis? Am I a paint evil? It doesn't add up. You do not deliver any argument. Again, you are a young kid, probably in your 20s, maybe even younger, who knows. You just got into veganism. I understand this. I get it. You're delusional. You're euphoric. You're motivated. You want to change the world. But very soon you will wake up from your delusion. You will have to face those facts and you will have to reflect that you do not add anything into the discussion. All you're doing here with your activism is copying what other people already have said. I've seen a billion videos like this. There is nothing new here. You can do it. You can go to the supermarket and buy it. It is not a necessity. You have to define what human nutrition is. Have you ever looked into basic biology? Have you ever seen the intestine of a human being? Have you ever compared it to cows? No, you have not. Instead, getting animal foods for every meal they eat, which then further fuels yes. the already existing cognitive bias and socially supports unjustified and unnecessary harm. Now, I understand for some people it's actually difficult depending on their situations. Let's talk about food allergies. I have received a comment by someone who's allergic to both soy and nuts. Not gonna lie, that would be pretty hard. But this person is asking questions about different alternatives, recipes, and making an effort to eat a balanced vegan diet instead of just using the excuse to eat animals as usual. The title of a vegan isn't what matters. You're at least making an effort every day 
to eliminate wow. as many animal products as you can from your diet. And that's what really matters. No one has to go vegan. And people should do this so they become- No one has to go vegan? Vegans I as agree. a consequence. Being vegan is not a commitment or the goal. It is just a consequence. Now, lastly, there's a fairly strong example written in this post. Speaking of health concerns, specifically in terms of recovery from eating disorders, I understand that it is extra difficult to eat vegan in this case because this is where a plant-based diet could actually be a restriction depending on the eating disorder or the none of this is edible the person's condition and most importantly what is available for them that they can eat this is a big factor these elements must come together when determining what they can eat so depending on what's available some may not be able to obtain a balanced nutrition intake on a vegan diet alsana a leading recovery community i haven't seen one healthy food item no matter if it was a vegan or if it was omnivorous on this video he has absolutely no idea what healthy food looks like. He only shows junk food, burgers, pancakes, chicken nuggets, etc. He says, vegan clients need to learn how to allow both of these things to be true. Harming animals is against my ethics and I have the right not to violate those ethics. And harming myself is against my ethics and I have a right to nourish myself even when my ideal food choices are not available. When I'm nourished, I have the energy I need to be my best self in the world and in my relationships. So again, I'm it becomes nourished. a survival issue. <laughs> choices are not available. When I'm nourished. apple. I am nourished. Mm. <laughs> yes, full of energy. <laughs> I have the energy. I need to be my oh, best man. self in the world so and sad. in my relationships. So again, it becomes wow. a survival issue and you're supposed to nourish yourself with the things you can eat. Plus, if more people go vegan... It is an irrational ideology. It is absolutely ridiculous. It is a religion that doesn't add up, that doesn't make sense, that holds no truth. I want to nourish myself. How will you nourish yourself? It is all right to nourish yourself. You already admit that it's all right to nourish yourself if the real food items, my ethical food items, are not around. So you essentially admit that you only nourish yourself when you're cheating on a vegan diet. Do you get this? And Man. there will be more vegan foods and products on the market simply products. because of supply and demand. So we have to be the change in the society for them. What yeah, be that during this pandemic. <laughs> uh, 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 you could see whole aisles in the supermarket stacked with those plant foods. Nobody wanted them. People ran into the supermarkets, got toilet paper, got all the meat that they can get. But the shelves were stuffed with vegan junk. Nobody wants it. Alden Behavioral Care, a nationally recognized leader in the treatment of eating disorders, says that when following a vegan diet is closely aligned with your values, it can be a source of pleasure and fulfillment, especially as you take steps in your recovery. So again, yes, Ultimately, it all comes down to your core values and necessity when determining your actions. And of course, your survival and well-being is the priority. And again, the information that the... Okay, I rest my case. So my survival, my well-being is the priority. So I'm coming to you, dear vegan counsel. I'm honest. I really mean this. This is not a joke. I feel only good if I eat animal foods in every single meal. Yes, and heaps of it. I need a steak every single day. I need burger patties every single day. I need sashimi every single day. This is when I feel the healthiest. This is when my well-being is in line. Am I a vegan? By your logic, tell me. Am I a vegan? I think so. Vegan diet may not always work with people with eating disorders, does not justify eating a non-vegan diet if you don't have any eating disorders. I hope this video was helpful. If you found Super it insightful, helpful. please like and share. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye. All right guys, and this is it for today's video. Nice young man, I wish him well. I think that he really wants to do good, but at the same time is super delusional like the rest of the vegans. Unfortunately, he fell into this cult. Head over there, comment on his page, be nice, and let him know about the facts. Let him know that his diet kills more animals. Let him know that he is malnourishing himself and that he is spreading dangerous misinformation and will harm other people.
people's lives. And I hope those lives matter as well, and not only the beloved animals. All right, but this is it for today. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And if you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. This is it. As always, guys, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.